Si Kamat mananerbiyos. <laughs> Kaya nga. <laughs> okay, sige. Wow, okay. Take, take two, sorry. And my guest for today is no other than a former uh, mayor of the city of Baguio for so many years. One of the main pioneers kung bakit natin natatamas ang mga magagandang nangyari sa Baguio. The good man, attorney Mauricio Dumogad. Hello sir, thank you, thank you for your time. Uh, good afternoon, thank good you afternoon. Anak, for this opportunity to be with you and to all our viewers. Thank you. So this will be my first question, as always sa mga guests ko po. Can you share us a bit of you growing up? Sino po si Mauricio Dumogan nung lumalaki siya? Well, I am one who came from a very remote situ within the boundary of Bisao Mountain Province, Tobu Abra. It's part of Angatidin at the time, now Kirino Ilocosur, known as Babaasi Patsakan Kirino Ilocosur. We were orphans at an early age. I was two years old. My sister was five years old when our mother left us. Our father left us to look for a job to support us. I was left with my maternal grandfather and aunt in an uncle. My sister, they thought that she was going to die. There was no milk that you can buy mm -hmm. in that area at that time. So I was told what they had been doing to save her, bringing her to different breast feeding mothers willing to share their natural milk. But it came to a point that she did not uh, anymore like to course drink. Fortunately, an aunt and an, an uncle from Busao Mountain Province, Uncle Lissy and Maria, came to our place. They got her walking for about 24 hours with God's blessing. She survived. That long walk, they were able to reach Sagada or Panits, that's where she stayed. So we were separated. We only started living together when I was already in the third year high school. I in third grade one when I was eight years old in Hap. And the elementary were, we were then studying two and a half kilometers away from our city. So we, have, we had to walk every day that distance to go to school. Most of the time, we were naked. I graduated in 1961 as the valedictorian of our class. I followed my father who was then working in Lipanto, consolidated mining company in Mangkayan. So that's where I enrolled in high school. Of the entire population of the high school at that time, I can remember that we were only, we were four always going to school barefooted. In my case, most of the time, only short time. I had a greater time, so. I had that inferiority conflict. That's why when uh, I was in the third year, it's but natural that you start to feel something towards the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot tell what I feel to a beautiful classmate because I know that if I will uh, do it, it will get a negative answer because of my luck. And this is an unforgettable experience which part of what had been challenging me to do my best. Junior seniors from February 14 of 1965, we were in fourth year at the time. It was compulsory and mandatory that all of us had to attend. You have to wear a dark long pants, barong Tagalog or a true nice with necktie. I had no long pants. I had only one pants which was just below my knee. I had no shoes. The only shoes that, black shoes that I can use at the time was the bulldog shoes. The only shoes of my father, good our neighbor, Apollonio Menezes, lent me his Barong Tagalog. It's a big one. That's why when I wore this Barong Tagalog with that shirt, long pant in the bulldog shoes. I look like worse than a king koi that you read in the comic. But just to be able to attend. When we attended, the instruction of course for the male to line up on the right side and the female on the left side. You meet in front 
the dignitaries are seated in front. Whoever you will meet will be your partner. And the instruction is the lady to put her hands on your left forearm and you have to mark. When I move forward, I saw that my partner, the daughter of the boss of the power department of Lipanto, because she was dressed mm -hmm. beautifully with makeup, I think she looked at me as somebody that I do not deserve to be her partner. Only her toenails had been reaching <laughs> the big barong Tagalog in my forearm. She was too far doing that like me so everybody were laughing at us clothing those on the stage you know i said this is a memorable experience because that was the time i feel the son of a poor family but what can i do that was my situation when we were already moving in front she removed her fingernails i ran outside of the hall. There were four classmates of mine. I, I know they sympathized and pitied me. They followed me outside, convincing me to go back, but I can't anymore. With the embarrassment that I did suffer after that, I told myself, what can I do to be recognized that there is Dumugan who is their classmate? I cannot equal them the way they dress. None at all. My look, well, I look uh, just uh, worse than an ordinary man with a glitter mm -hmm. on his knee. What came to my mind was to study very well in any recitation or quiz that will be given examination. I had to defeat that woman who did that to me February 14th of 1965. I think it helped me. There is one thing that I cannot forget my late mother. What I can only remember about her was when she was dead, lying at the center of the floor in that little house where we were born. I was forcing myself to go and lie down with her, but I was prevented by old people because she was dead. That was all. But you know, when I was in grade four, I think, it was Saturday. I did not know why. I did not anymore go out as I usually do and play with uh, my playmate. And, and instead, I decided to take a nap in that little house. You know, when I was uh, sleeping, as if as it was not a dream, my mother came to me. She was wiping my perspiration on my forehead. Very important word. Again, part of what had been telling me to do what is right. Ang sing sing put ka, be good anak. She had been repeating it. I've been looking at her. That was the only opportunity that I was able to lock the lock of my, of our late mother. I will now go. She did not pass through that small door. Instead, she passed through the window. Immediately, I stood up, embraced her and tell her, why are you leaving us, Mama? But I cannot see her anymore. My eyes went directly to her grave because she was just buried beside that little house where we were born. I feel so sad with that dream. I, I, I got sick. I cannot explain why. I came here to the city of Baguio 1965 after graduating from the high school to pursue my college education. My first time to be here in the city of Baguio. I enrolled at Baguio Tech at the time. I enrolled actually College of Engineering, not to brag. It was ever since my favorite subject, the elementary, the high school. Yeah. I think few, if not none, can defeat me in mathematics. But when my father learned that I enrolled in engineering, he said, you have to ship your course if you like to continue your college. Take up education, what he said. Sudden with that order of my of my father because we had already a stepmother at that time. It's so difficult to have a stepmother, believe me. Anyway, without me knowing, that was how I became a lawyer also. Because because of that order of my father, I don't I did not like to take up Bachelor of Science in elementary education. And instead I took up I shipped it to Bachelor of Arts. <coughs> when he asked me if he complied with his order for me to take up education, I said yes, I am taking up Bachelor of Arts so that I can teach in college. And also I included Bachelor of Science in Education so that I can teach in the high school. So I was allowed. I was boarding in Holy Ghost proper. 
in the squatter's house owned by Paulina na oy. Without light, without water, paying five pesos a month as my monthly rental. We were getting our uh, drinking water about 300 meters away in deep way. Mule was proper. It was a difficult life. Fortunately, I was taken in as member of the Rondalia Band, Bagyotek at that time. So we were free in our tuition fee. We were only paying six pesos and 50 centavos per semester. I took care of that privilege that uh, I was able to get that helped me finish my Bachelor of Arts with BSA, but I had two lacking units, Education 6 16 and 17 to complete Bachelor of Science in Education. During summertime, I had to work whatever available job that I can. That's why I work as a road gang, Kamanero, a construction worker, and then I work underground, Lipanto at the time. I was so glad that the company at the time had a program of employing dependents of employees of Lipanto to work during summertime. That was how, just to help me in my studies. When I was about to graduate my Bachelor of Art in 1969, that was the only time that it came to, my, to me for us to take up Bachelor of Law. During my graduation, Bagyotek at the time, 1969, I was absent. Why? I was worried then working underground in Lepanto because of uh, my plan to take up law. Then I enrolled in the College of Law. We had the problem again. Where will I get money. the money to pay my tuition fee, my needs here in the city of Baguio? My uncle on both sides, they committed to help me because I think they have seen my determination. But I know also their capability. Our uncle, where I grew up, sold is the best carabao in our place just to help me. Fortunately, I was taken in as an scholar of the Commission on National Integration. That helped us a lot because we had an allowance of 40 pesos a month. It's already something during that time. Free tuition fee with 40 pesos a month. It helped me pay my boarding house because I was renting in the Duklands house, Upper Brookside. Time. Many times that I've been working from Upper Brookside to Baguio Colleges, now University of the Cordilleras. Up to the time I graduated, even when I took up my review, my first time to have gone to uh, UP, the Le Mans case of city, just to take up my review. My scholarship paid my ent entrance fee to take up the bar exam of 1973. We were 29 uh, students of the fourth year college of law at the time, but 14 were only allowed to graduate. I, fortunately, I was one of the 14. Out of the 14, only 10 of us took the bar exam during that year. And out of 10, fortunately, I was one of the, of the five. It's 50% that passed the bar during that time, after passing the bar, 19 Sigma. I was happy because there were invitations for me to be employed in big companies like Lipanto, Philippine Iron Mines, to mention some. But I told myself, I want to paddle my canoe on the private law practice. I was renting at that time. It's small, a small room, just the same. That did not discourage me. You know, during those years that I was in Baguio Tech, in Baguio Colleges as a student, what I told you as my unforgettable experience that kept on challenging me first, what my mother told me in my dream and what that classmate of mine had done to me February 14 of 1965. There were rich classmates of mine that once in a while invite me to drink, you know. I do not know why. I've been drinking with them many times. That memory will occur in my mind and I tell myself what will be my future if I keep on doing this. I start to shy away from those. Anyway, <coughs> I started my law practice 1974. I started my small law office. I was happy that after our professor, attorney Benjamin Fernando, allowed me to join him. Well, it's a very loose partnership. I had my own space. I managed my own, I said, loose 
partnership we most of the time of course i was new consult team in some of the cases but i have to paddle up to the one personally handling my cases i had no secretary at that time we had a second hand typewriter that we bought at 400 pesos at that time i was the one typing my own pleading in my boarding house i'm happy i'm very thankful that my boardmate did not complain even if i will still typing up to 12 o'clock sometimes one o'clock following morning as a new practitioner and i want to say this to the young lawyers well no experience at all i keep on accepting cases only to find out that i have a lot of cases that i accepted i am ashamed to return the cases to them so i have i have to work always over time even with few sleep every night just to handle it when i about i think that was <clears throat> December of 1974.